This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Monday, the 17th of April. We're looking at, on Marathon Day in Boston, we're looking at the Dow at this 10 a.m. Tiger Financial News Network market update. The Dow's up 62. 33,949. It's getting into this area of strong resistance in a leg D. We're going to be watching this closely. Why? Because the S&P also is getting into resistance area. It's got this long-legged doji from Friday. Uh, this is a leg E in the Chapman Wave methodology, up 5 at 41.43. There's a lot to discuss today uh, when I get to my show in a few minutes' time, the Tiger Technicians Hour. We're also looking at QQQ. Now, the QQQ is up $0.04 cents at 318.68. You can see how it's stalled here. It's All the technicals in, in the three indices I've spoken about are extremely strong right now, so the price is holding. It's not breaking out, but it's holding. Uh, the uh, IWM, Russell 2000, 177.72 is up uh, one. Uh, doing okay. Ah, here's the story. The gold uh, contract had a sharp slide Friday, and it's unusual to have a, have a second slide without a big rally. So today's down seven at 2008. And why is that? I think it's because, as I discussed with my subscribers to my opening call in my hour, over an hour long uh, video on Saturday for the market overview. Um, the dollar is acting well, and it's coming in right at the left side, right side price time match at 100.82 was the low in, in February. And on Friday, the low was 100.79. It's ready for a bit of a bounce. I think that's what we're looking at. And if you're looking at uh, uh, bonds, uh, bonds are down again. See, yields are moving up, still within a range, an acceptable range. And if you're looking at crude oil, Crude oil is holding, it's had that peak uh, C above the 200 period moving average, holding steady at 82.03, uh, down 50 cents. We'll see whether it breaks to the 84s or it slides under a 79 support. Looking at the uh, volatility index, which is at uh, 17.41, it's actually up 34 cents today. We'll see if that lasts. I do expect this week to be a week of consolidating, and I wouldn't be surprised if there's a bit of slippage in the next couple of days. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour. As I say, a lot to discuss. Check out my opening call, and we'll also talk about natural gas, yes, when I get back. Uh, see you in a few moments.